Hello and welcome everyone. Today I have a, a new firearm which is BRG Buffalo. BRG Buffalo. It is uh, something that came across while I was just going through classic firearms. So yeah, they're, they're really great. Trust me, they are, uh, they are a very great. It's not a paid promotion. I love them. I watch their videos. I do purchase my firearms from them. Not all, but I do um, have had my situations where I had purchased firearms. Are multiple from them. They are very fast in shipping, very good in customer service and responding. So they are they are very good. So I was uh, going through there because they are good. I always do uh, when I'm going through. I do go through their site. And I came across this. Right now, this is out of stock. I wanted to know how this feels. It's from BRG USA. It is a Turkish firearm. I have not shot my first rounds from it. But I have taken it out of the box and uh, I have tried to uh, play with it, dry fire. Um, I did have my magazines filled, but for the sake of this video, I took all the rounds out. Sometimes people do feel a little other way around when you see live rounds in a video even though it's a recorded video if something goes wrong you will not see the video if you see a live round it's quite assured like everything's okay that's why you saw the video but anyways so yeah it comes with a mag magazine loader uh with a nice case to be um first to mention I don't like this padding much. It's very stiff and hard, but it's okay. It's hard to take it out. I, well, the Canic Firearms comes with pretty nice padding. It's easy to handle. This one not so much. See, I'm like struggling to get it out. But that's all secondary. If you don't like the case, you can get another case. But for a firearm, costs less than two hundred dollars. In some cases, hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty dollars. What do you find for that price is mostly a high point, which is made in US, so some people like it, but uh, I don't know, for some reason I cannot wrap my head around a high point. So I have not got one yet. <clears throat> I might get one, but this one looks good. Let me take the firearm by itself. All right, for those who want peace of mind, empty mag, empty chamber, I hope you can see it. Yep, there's nothing in there. And then it comes with a whole bunch of stickers from Classic Firearm. So they got me like four four stickers, I guess, or more at the time, I don't know. But then a card from BRG USA. Cleaning brush. Oil. A lock, trigger lock. Cleaning cloth. With every other firearm I got, with all of these things, I have not used any of these things. I used the ones that I purchased. Uh, everything comes in the box, stays in the box as it is, except for the... Maybe maybe for one I might have tried. It was all good. But I later on I'm like, I don't want to use it. I just want to leave it in the box. I leave those in the box. <coughs> and then... Uh, said the magazine loader. Two back straps. Uh, the back strap that it came with, I am more than happy with it. So I did not even think about swapping that out. And one extra magazine. And this is marked 16 round magazine. So that's uh, that's what this comes with. It feels. Slightly heavier, polymer frame. Uh, heavy on the top and two, compared to other firearms. It does have a grip safety, I do like it. It does not have any other uh, safety. It has last round hold. Uh, but other than that, no other safety. No, no safety, but as long as you have grip safety, that's good enough for me. Uh, and also the trigger safety, so it's not 
like yeah definitely a, a child will not be able to take it and do whatever is normally said to pull the trigger without depressing their grip safety yeah it's possible but so keep safe keep away from children always no matter what all kinds of safety you have and also has a cock indicator which protrudes out pretty big uh, the other ones I have does not protrude out so if you are holding your firearm uh, like this like when you when you holster it you will actually feel like it's protruded out so you know it is cocked all right so if something happens while cocking two minutes it's while holstering <clears throat> seriously it doesn't really matter much but that protruding out is a good visible indicator I do like that part the thing I really don't like is uh, the part where the trigger pull is right like so I already pushed the trigger this far and now I'm pressing hard I pressed again <coughs> and I am keep on pressing it and then it breaks all right so it's time for a quick range uh, try out first time and also the holster the one does not come with the holster but a canic holster or a glock holster works fine so here it, it fits well draws well goes in it's not an easy pull out it won't pull out it won't like running jumping it won't do anything so that's uh, that is there so you can use any holster with the brg9 so let me go through the first shots racking it's fairly easy it's not too hard this is my first shot I'm aiming at the orange one on top right top all right so here I'm pulling the trigger there is a take up and now again pulling it didn't break missed come with the other one I don't feel like it's, it's shooting high it is definitely shooting high But it's definitely shooting high. So, if you have seen my previous one, uh, the Chisas uh, 9 mm, that's that was sharp. That was I didn't have to do anything. It was on dot. See the one at the bottom. Got that. No. Ah, uh, recoil is not too bad. First, first one, chambered, jam. Yeah, I'm not able to get the top ones as easy as the one at the bottom. That's exactly what it is. The top ones, it's not coming. I don't know if it's me or the gun. The bottom one, getting the bottom one. Last round, chamber lock. That is good. I only have one more magazine. It came with two magazines. I brought both the magazines out. Now. With the other ones, I never had any issues with the metal target at the bottom, but this is not so. Like that. Got that, hand locked. 
Right, so here's my take on this. It shoots pretty decent. It feels good on the hand. But that was nine targets plus two, actually four rounds to make two hits on that revolving target at the bottom. I missed a lot. That's not the normal case with my other firearms. So I'm not saying, I don't want to blame the gun, but you need to know the gun. So this is right out of the box. I was not able to get some of those, but it's not a good thing. Like, without practicing with this particular firearm. Whereas my other one that I did, the same thing, it was good out of the box, it was on the dot. I didn't have to do anything. It's my regular stance, regular, uh, however I shoot normally. It was on the dot. I did not have any issues other than few ones that I missed. That was my mistake, I realized it. But this one, I was trying hard. I was not able to get it. Uh, 17 rounds, actually no, 34 rounds. So that is not uh, fun. No, 34 rounds for maybe 14 hits. No, that's not good. I don't like that part. Uh, I will train more with this. I like how it feels though. Don't get me wrong. I do like how it feels. It's raining out here too, so I don't want to spend too much time out. Uh, I do feel good how it feels in my hand. It feels good. Uh, it When I shoot, the muscle rise and everything I like, but I don't know if it is the sights or me, but I need to find that out by using it more. So that's, uh, that's my take on the gun. So here I conclude it. It's a good gun. Uh, is it worth? Yes, it is worth. It's worth for the money that you're spending. But is it a gun that I will depend my life on if I have to? Uh, if I'm in a self-defense situation, will I be using it without uh, any practice? No, I will not. Um, matter of fact, I will not carry this gun. At least till I get comfortable with it. Like, I carry this. I don't have a problem getting the targets. I comfortably carry it without much of any practice or with, with, without much of any learning about the gun with my normal skills of shooting. I am able to shoot without missing, uh, but this one now. So I need to learn this particular firearm. So that part is something that I'm not a huge fan of. If I pick up a firearm, if it already has built-in sizes coming from factory, it should be something that is pretty decent enough to work. So that is, I believe the sides are a little off and there is no way to adjust it. So I might find some alternatives for that and uh, go with that. But other than that, everything should be all right. Uh, once I do that, I think I, I saw some sites. I might try that sites and see how that works. So that's that's what BRG9 feels like. If you want to try it out, yes, it is. It is a good firearm for the price. But if the price is anything more than this, no, I won't go for it. Right, thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Feel free to subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon if you enjoy the content or if you like to more about know more about. Any of the things that I uh, go through, it can be guns, it can be speakers, it can be anything. So, here you go. Thank you everyone, have a good day.